Arguably one of the most exciting things about FNAF AR is seeing all the classic animatronics come back in a brand new augmented reality experience. However, with it being seven months since the last character Golden Freddy in December, it doesn't look like we're getting a new character anytime soon. Maybe with the new fall update we can see a few new characters, but up until then, it's kind of up in the air on who we're going to see next. Everybody has their guesses and everybody has their hopes, but today I'm going to go over every single character confirmed to be coming to Five Nights at Freddy's AR Special Delivery. Not people who I want to see, right? Not characters who I think could work well in the game. Characters who have been confirmed by Illumix and their employees to be coming to the game at some point in the future. Admittedly, a few characters who also have hints at coming to the game but haven't outright been confirmed to. I'm I'm not trying to predict when the characters are coming out, I'm not trying to predict what their gameplay mechanic is going to be, I'm just telling you the facts of who's coming to the game and the evidence that supports it. And eventually when the characters do come into the game, you betcha I'll make some videos on it. Hey, so perfect segue, make sure you're subscribed and also hit the like button, and tell me in the comments who do you want to see in FNAF AR next? I know Funtime Freddy's popular, I know Lefty's pretty popular, they are in this video, but first I want to talk about characters who have hints that they're coming into the game but haven't outright been confirmed. Endo 02. Of course, Endo 02 first appeared in FNAF 2 alongside the toy in Withered Animatronics, and he's kind of been a staple of the endoskeletons ever since, appearing in FNAF World and coming back and help wanted. So it's a bit odd that Endo 01 from FNAF 1 is the only Endo so far out of the two to appear in FNAF AR. Well, actually, Endo 02 does appear in the game's code, but that's kind of it. That's why it's speculated that he could be coming to the game. I know I said it wasn't going to be a prediction video, but if I had to take a guess, I wouldn't be surprised if when the withered animatronics eventually do get added into FNAF AR, they do release Endo 02 alongside them. Some more characters that appear in the game's code code is Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica, and Nightmare Foxy. All four of the primary nightmares all make an appearance in the game's code in some way or form. It's also notable to point out that the Nightmare Cupcake also makes an appearance in the code for FNAF AR. However, instead of being listed as a completely separate character, they're grouped in with Nightmare Chica, as you would expect. Originally, FNAF AR had a crafting mechanic, and that is how you would unlock the suits. It's an interesting topic, and it's honestly worth its own video. I honestly would not be surprised if we see these guys sometime in the future because Illumix does already have the models for Nightmare Bonnie and Nightmare Chica in the form of the Jackos, who are somehow in the game before the original Nightmare animatronics, but pop off Illumix. The Nightmares have kind of been making a comeback appearing in Help Wanted's DLC, Curse of Dreadbear, and again, they do have the Jacko animatronics already in the game, so hopefully soon we can see the Nightmares. And speaking of Nightmare, Nightmare Yone is also someone who makes an appearance in in the game's code, and just like the Nightmares has been making a comeback appearing in Help Wanted's base game. And the final character who is in the code for the game itself is Scrap Baby from Pizza Simulator. So far the only FNAF 6 character who is in the game's code, again apart from Lefty, but we're getting to him, okay? Definitely an odd one out, but hopefully can get into the game sometime soon. FNAF 6 definitely does have a lot of characters who I do see walking in FNAF 8, or I mean you got the Rockstar animatronics, the mediocre Mel Melodies, of course, the scrap animatronics, you know, trash in the gang. And now moving on to characters who still are not confirmed, but do have a bit more evidence to back up their appearance. You can take this one with a bit of salt, but the puppet can kind of be seen in the Easter 2020 teaser. That's the one of the candy shop with Chocolate Bonnie and Easter Bonnie. So far, the puppet is not in the game's code, which again is weird, seeing as you'd think that they'd add the puppet before Nightmare Own, but... Whatever, it's a Lumix. And the final character, who again is not confirmed, but does have a lot of evidence backing up their appearance, is our boy Glitch Trap from Help Wanted. Not only is he talked about a lot in the game's emails, but he also has an 8-bit sprite in the launch trailer for FNAF AR. Now, in my opinion, even though the glam rock animatronics are coming to the game, I just keep spoiling the rest of the video, don't I? Even though they're coming, I don't really see Glitch Trap coming to the game. Same case with Vanny. I mean, Glitch Trap isn't really an animatronic, nor is Vanny, so I just don't really see them working well as enemies in the game. But now comes the big money, the confirmed characters coming to FNAF AR. Once again, this isn't me just saying, oh, I think they could come, you know, I think they'd work well in the game. No, 
This is confirmed by Illumix that these characters are coming to the video game. Going in order of games, of course you have Fun Time Freddy. This guy has been teased for the longest time, first appearing in the New Year's 2020 teaser, and then in September of 2020 his textures were found in the files of the game alongside the release of Ringmaster Foxy. Oh yeah, and most recently an ex Illumix employee posted an article of the game making process, and they had an early image of the map icon for Funtime Freddy. So we can only hope that he's coming soon, hopefully in that fall update. A little bit less known is the confirmed addition of Funtime Foxy. Now I'm gonna get real with you guys. The source of this is kind of dude, trust me. Okay, so let me explain. You see, our good buddy Lewis Dawkins, Docos Games, had an interview with the CEO and founder of Illumix, Kieran, in December of 2020, only like, what, seven months ago? And it was streamed over on Twitch instead of YouTube. And since Twitch is the way Twitch is, the VOD, or the video, the live stream, automatically gets deleted after I think it's 60 days. Nobody, not a single soul in that 60 day time period, thought to record the interview. Trust me, I've been trying to find this interview. I've gone on the Wayback Machine, you know, I've... I've tried everything. But it's just gone. It's not even in the archives of Twitch. So, uh, yeah, dude, trust me, Funtime Foxy is coming to the game. And now the character that we have the most evidence for is actually Lefty. And the first bit of evidence we have for it isn't even from 2020. It's before the game came out. In September of 2019, the voice actress for Lefty confirmed on Instagram that she'll be coming back to voice Lefty in the game. She said, oh my goodness, so happy to finally get to announce that Lefty is back in another installment of FNAF. So, so happy to once again get to scare the crap out of all of you. Game comes out this fall, play and be terrified. Oh, I'd love to play and be terrified of Lefty and FNAF Aeor if he came out. And goddamn, there was even a Lefty sprite in the launch trailer for the game, which is kind of just a recolored Fredbear texture from FNAF 4, but it's definitely Lefty, okay? Oh yeah, and then he made an appearance alongside Funtime Freddy in the New Year's 2020 teaser. And then, oh yeah, we could find his textures in the game files, much like Funtime Freddy. And then, oh yeah! that time that his icon was actually in the store instead of Toy Freddy's profile icon. How do you mess that up? Now, unfortunately, unlike Funtime Freddy, there's no lefty model, it seems, just yet. At least, that we know of. And also, again, much like the Jackos coming into the game before the Nightmares, I think it would just be a bit strange if the puppet came back before Lefty. Wait, no. If Lefty came back before the puppet. But yeah, so far, Lefty has the most evidence backing him. And the final characters coming to the game confirmed by Illumix are once again lost in that interview. Yeah, they were confirmed in the same interview that had Funtime Foxy and that is lost, so... Luckily, it seems like this is well remembered that Glamrock Freddy, Glamrock Chica, Montgomery Gator, and Roxanne Wolf from the upcoming Steel Wolf game Security Breach are coming to the game. Though it was confirmed that they would come to the game after the release of Security Breach. So it's interesting to theorize do they have the characters done? Because when you think about it, Security Breach was supposed to be out earlier this year. And coincidentally, we haven't had a character since, well, it, it was December, but you know, earlier this year. So could the Glamrocks be done? and they're just waiting on Steel Wolf. Is that why we didn't get any characters earlier this year? Was because they were working on the Glamrocks for the release of SB? Who knows? And who knows who we're gonna see next? Because, well, again, all these characters have been confirmed to be coming to the game. We still don't know when they're coming. Again, Funtime Freddy and Lefty have been teased for a year and a half. And again, tell me who do you want to see in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.